Hello everyone, folks. Four days later, I completely prepared the material, dismantled all the electronic components from a hundred boards that came from Mikhail from America. Today we will see what the total output of gold from all components will be. And let's look at the first board. Here are 800 grams of these, 200 grams of small ones, then one-sided ones came out 156 grams, inductors are about 115 pieces of them, there is a candle at the tips. Then there are also connectors, 300 grams of connectors came out. Here is such a fee. There were 75 micro assemblies. On the other hand, they are gilded, we will also recycle them. Then the filter. 115 filters came out, on the other side there is gilding. Then these are the components that I also processed on the channel. I have 17 grams of them along with others. There are also microwave connectors that seem to be thick enough gilding on them, too, we will process 120 pieces. Well, I combined all these small chips into 200 grams. And first of all, let's recycle the chips. In a 5 liter glass there are 800 grams of large, in a 3 liter glass small, 200 grams. And if you look closely at the chips, there are conclusions on which there is still solder. This extra metal, so it is desirable, of course, to remove all this. I will do it chemically, some do it mechanically. So, we pour 800 milliliters of electrolyte into the first glass. This is dilute sulfuric acid with a density of 128 and 300 milliliters of the same solution into the second glass. Do not forget about safety precautions, because acids are dangerous. Do not forget to protect your eyes and hands. But you also definitely need traction. Now I pour nitric acid here, I'll pour about 100 here, and 50 milliliters here. About this ratio. If the reaction does not start itself now, then I will put it to heat. I crushed the material, sifted it and made a second firing at a temperature of about 800 degrees for 40 minutes. All the coal burned out and there was such a beige color. If your material is gray, there will be losses. Now we need to transfer silver from flour to a solution of methyl. Well, let's moisten it with water first. Here is such a mushy mass and pour nitric acid. Also, my glass is on heating and the dissolution of copper and silver will gradually begin now. After a while, the release of brown gas stopped. And we check. We pour nitric acid. If there is no reaction, the copper and silver leaching process is finished.
Copper is clear that there is. Let's see if there is silver. And such a decent amount of silver chloride got to the bottom of a 3 liter glass. The material from the funnel dried up, I poured it into a glass for 5 liters. Now we need to do the leaching of the golden hairs. To do this, I will use a prototype of aqua regia, which is 300 milliliters of water, then 170 milliliters of nitric acid and 40 grams of ammonium chloride. And now it remains to heat all this mixture. So, while the flour is being filtered, we will work with other components. Connectors you need to remove the solder from them. We fill in the solder solvent here and leave it. So, we also have micro assembly material. We will process it separately. There is also a lot of solder on it. Let it dissolve microwave connectors. As you can see, they also have solder. Let's combine it with such components and pour it. We still have contacts from the inductors, they also have solder on the tips. There is not much of it, so we cover it a little. It remains only to heat and restore. The solution is on the verge of boiling, it has become a little cloudy, because impurities remain, but we will do additional cleaning. Sprinkle carefully with urea to remove nitric acid products, but there is practically nothing here. Yes, there is nothing. and add a saturated solution of hydrazine hydrochloric acid. We are looking. Well, that's it. There is metal. It's getting dark. A red cloud appeared from the gold that stood out. The golden sand from a large glass was transferred to a small one. Now let's dry it and find out the preliminary result on the chips. Considering that 50% were thick chips, the result will probably not be very good. Well, the little thing was there, in short, the material. That's the result 1 and 6 grams. After a while, the material was cleaned, I will put the connectors on firing. Then I will process the microwave connectors and other components later with acid. I will burn the substrates from the micro assemblies together with these contacts that were in the inductors. As a result, I transferred the plug connectors after the solder solvent to the liter glass, then other fragments of these little Mickey, also the substrates from the micro assemblies. Here they are like such petals and there are also contacts from the inductors. This material is not magnetic, so we will etch everything at once. We also have a filter. The filters are magnetic, so we wipe them separately. And we also have contacts from the connectors, let's see what the gilding will be from them. The material is covered with water, stands on a sand bath and carefully pour nitric acid. The reaction will be very violent, so we need to work very carefully.
And here is an interesting result after etching the connectors with nitric acid. Please note that there is already a brown powder in the sediment, most likely during firing the gilding passed into the base and fell out when dissolved. We will not collect crumbs there, we will immediately run through one filter, I prepared 25 milliliters of royal vodka, now we need to transfer all the gold into a solution. So, we're pouring in. Add urea. There is a small reaction, you can mix it carefully. Adding more. Here the pellet sinks to the bottom and there is no reaction. Now add the reducing agent hydrazine hydrochloric acid. That's such a beauty. The concentration of the redhead is good. So, that's it, the process is over and now we are waiting for it to fall out. Now I will add to the second sediment, I will do the cleaning behind the scenes, I usually do some with ascorbic acid, but we will also melt. Summing up, we look at the result. 2 grams. Here is the result. What can I say, import is import, you can't guess with it, sometimes fat, sometimes poor. The same microwave connectors shown as if they had thick gilding on them. In fact, it is also a weak material. And support this video with a like. Good luck to everyone, bye to everyone.